Alright, so welcome to yet another Dragon Crypto Gaming Legend of Orum Dragon is video. Chica with you here. Thought I'd give a bit of a progress report on how my main journey is going along. Um, the game has been pretty awesome so far and it's like even better than beta to be frank. Like how main it has been. Uh, it's been pretty much devoid of bugs, really game breaking bugs, maybe a few really small hiccups here or there, which are being um, solved so quickly. Uh, here are my builds so far, how it's been going along. I've got uh, my master warrior here, attack and endurance, most of uh, what I've been trying to build that hero with. My uh, genesis attacker, who has uh, not had as good of a time leveling up, but mostly I say the tiny dragon has made a big difference for the master and the extra points up front, of course. But I've uh, put, got some really good loot like the great steel plate, 12 defense, and uh, that rare chest, those bracers with 8 defense, this epic superior side of speed with 22 attack. They've all been uh, pretty dope and uh, going well and uh, going forward I'll uh, talk more about how these weapons and weapon types are all specifically picked for a certain way. Uh, the fifth hero which I had always kept as a fringe hero, I tried to make a gatherer out of uh, her but it's been affecting her progress severely. I've uh, not been able to have enough attack or defense to go up there and the gatherer at this point is not getting enough from the mines or the depots to be able to level up easy. So that was a strategy I had in mind going by how the beta was but in the main net that uh, farming XP, uh, no I won't call it an exploit but that way of leveling up a hero and uh, keeping them uh, as a gatherer only is not gonna work. So. Probably gonna have to go get an amnesia gas, which is uh, a potion that you can use to uh, reset all your skill points and uh, maybe go for a different build, maybe a speedster build or another mage. Because mages are obviously the most powerful. This mage right here has been going really well, and I've been using dual wheels as you can see. Uh, been lucky enough to get a legendary wand and an artifact wand from the loot so might as well equip both of them and have intense magic uh, damage uh, at your disposal one thing to note um, is the enemy armor plays a huge uh, role in the amount of damage that you can deal this particular enemy the large rat has got a light armor so light armors are supposed to be weak against heavier weapons like the axes and sights uh, and the blade weapons like scythes and swords but are uh, stronger against mage weapons and magic weapons in general but this particular enemy here the headless the evil has got a uh, thicker armor or you could call it a heavy armor or normal armor as you can call it but when you have a normal armor or heavy armor enemy the mages work really well as you can see i mean it just did like 400 or you know upper echelons of 300 uh, damage to this particular enemy while it was only doing 250 yard uh, to the light arm and yeah this is what I've been talking about when it comes to my gatherers uh, experience building <laughs> experience uh, just two experience on each uh, step of the way and uh, most of the time if you come across something rare where you can get more experience it won't last more than two or three steps regardless though we ball and uh, somehow get our heroes to help out on the other heroes battles and do what we can and uh, eventually make that last hit to get to level 3. Each level is pretty good because you're still gaining those points. I'm just hoping I could get my hands on an amnesia gas so that I can reset this hero and uh, make him into... I think I'll try a speed based ranger because it's different. If I can get my hands on a really good bow, it could really help as well. Master Hero is going to take out Skobol pretty quick. These enemies, as they go up levels, are getting really strong. Getting critical hits in, 
but still managing to level up and uh, keep going um you're also getting more experience as well as more uh, tokens for your uh, exploits in the higher levels so your earning potential is also going up significantly so as i level up my master warrior it's always been the attack defense speed and endurance that i've been concentrating on once in a while i might put one point to luck but usually at least three each to attack and endurance and a couple to defense and a couple to speed is what i would go with sometimes i might go for one extra on each of attack and endurance because those are the two important things mainly for a warrior giving the tiny dragon to my genesis warrior so that uh, he can also try and get a little bit of an advantage and try and level up a little more faster until uh, i can get some good items and good weapons on him so he can go on his own merry way and then probably we'll try and go with our master warrior on a big sprint to catch up uh, big time levels later on so let's see what happens when we try and get our tiny dragon up just like that that's extra 300 uh, along with a critical hit with the sight quick work of the enemy not bad at all this is the kind of uh, easy smooth kind of enemy slaying that you want to have you also got to keep track of your quests how those uh, are coming about try and make sure the uh, hero you're finishing off a particular enemy with is the one that it has a quest with because these chests are really powerful they not only give you a good xp boost but they can give you some amazing loot sometimes it's proving to be a little more harder because of the defense and the heavy armor it's been a good bit heavy armor is not that great for a scythe as composed to light armor because scythes can light, uh, slice through these light armors we also have our crafter going again crafters have not been able to um level up as easier uh i have it equipped with a good axe right now to try and uh, get some hits going somehow always been giving points at the crafting um that's the genesis uh, warrior leveling up right there uh the crafter hero i've uh, tried my best to, like keep the crafting and gathering up as much as possible give some turns to go to the mines deep woods to farm there much better xp for them still need to be put into battles to you know keep that xp coming consistently otherwise it would be a big grind and you know stuff like the mythical uh, blueprints would require almost 250 crafting points and that's way out there in terms of the kind of levels you need to get there maybe level 30 35 40 at the very least right so this is one of those things again i keep checking the marketplace from time to time to try and get uh stuff like this that's a rare earth necklace of health with plus six magic and a little bit of health bonus for just point one seventy dc i think that's a pretty good deal uh lucky enough to come across this just uh, as it came out about 20 minutes ago and uh, once i get that that'll prove very good for the mage this thing necklaces strings and uh, capes they never lose durability so they're always going to be there uh, giving a boost to your base stats rather than bonus stats and uh, it will really help in uh, keeping your mage much more dangerous in the plains against the enemies hitting up the woods with my crafter gatherer a lot more points on her on both crafting and gathering so it's giving me a lot more XP and a lot more resources as well for each turn compared to the other hero that's much less uh, equipped in terms of skill points. So it's not bad. I try to keep a mix of both uh, mining and uh, gathering resources in the deep woods along with getting her into battles as much as possible so that uh, I can level her up as much as possible. Um, you gotta have a good mix because uh, at this point that's the only way to get the crafter gatherer up along with the others um, because at some point uh, these uh, crafting and gathering these very rare blueprints are going to become really really sought after and uh, that's when all these kind will hopefully come uh, good so it's not an immediate play it's a lot more long-term play 
so that's pretty much how i've been going about it uh, not trying to you know speed run it in any point just trying to level all of them up together as a team as much as possible so that nobody's really left behind i do need to work on that fifth hero a little bit but uh, all the others i try to keep them somewhere um, in the same levels so whenever i need backup they can all come in and chip in without uh, you know being too weak and uh, that will ensure that uh, even if it's a little bit of a slow process everyone is uh, getting up the way i need them to so that's the mage with enough experience going up to level 5 right there uh shaping up the really good you know all the items that i've got is giving me lots of magic damage i don't have to care about attack anymore uh good defense from all the objects i have as well so it's just endurance and magic that i have to um give more points to and also i can start uh, giving some points to luck and speed um to bring a little bit of that aspect into the gaming as well and uh, it'll all help i think this mage is going to be really strong uh, each level as it progresses and now that we know about the light armor heavy armor uh nerves as well as advantages uh it'll come in handy to you know keep track of that and have the other heroes ready to uh, switch in whenever the certain armor times uh, armor types appear So that's about it from me um for this little bit of a progress report all of them are around level 4 up to 5 pretty much trying to level them up one level at least each day and uh, keep on going so i hope you guys who are playing the game are also having the same amount of fun and also earning a lot um so we will see you in the next video with more progress or uh, let's see if i can uh, you know bite a niche to make a video about so Until then it's Jika signing off uh, have a good one